A cross-examination is the lawyer's opportunity to ask questions of a witness that's called by the other side. And so the point of cross-examination is really to uh, build the lawyer's own case through that witness or to undermine the credibility of the witness. And so you may say, uh, well, witness, I understand that you told the court today that the light was red, but you also told the officer at the scene that the light was green at the time that the accident happened. The key to cross-examination is to use leading questions, and that means that the lawyer really is leading the witness towards a certain answer. And so as an example, the lawyer might say to the witness something like, witness, you told the police officer at the scene that the light was green at the time of the accident, didn't you? And so the, the idea is that you're going to get the witness to agree with you and say yes. Uh, and then that's helping you to make your client's case by the witness's answers and also by the question. In the first few times you do a cross-examination, you probably don't want to ask a witness a question if you don't know the answer. Uh, once you get a little bit more experience, there might be times when you would want to use that. But for the most part, you should know the answer to the question you're asking. All right, will counsel be cross-examining Mr. Wong? Yes, Your Honor. All right, go ahead. Good morning, Your Honor. I'm Ms. Lau, and today I'll be asking Mr. Wong a couple questions. Good morning. Mr. Wong, you are the youth leader at the local rec center, is that correct? Yeah, that's correct. And therefore, you do know Mr. Donovan Tissy quite well, don't you? Yeah, I do know him. Mr. Tissy plays basketball at the rec center quite often, doesn't he? Yeah, two, three times a week, yeah. And he's quite good at this sport. See? Yeah, I wouldn't play against him. Mr. Dwayne Dirks also comes to the community center, doesn't he? Yeah, he started coming in uh, late 2009-ish, yeah. And Mr. Dirks does cause trouble at the rec center, is that correct? Yes, uh, he is rude uh, to the other youth as well as myself and other staff. And you've seen Mr. Tizzy associating with Mr. Dirk, haven't you? I've seen Donovan hang around with uh, Dirks, uh, Mr. Dirks, sorry, once in a while, yeah. And since they've been associating with each other, you've noticed a change in Mr. Tizzy's attitude. Is that correct? Uh, yes. Uh, Donovan has uh, just acted a little more withdrawn, a little less interested in people, a very minor change in his attitude. He, so he has been less interested in people, but he's also been rude to others, hasn't he? I've seen him maybe mouth off once or twice. To other youths? To other youths, yes. Sorry. Now, the community center was quite busy in March. Is that correct? Yeah, it's busy in March. And you work five days a week, don't you? Yeah, I do. You work from 2 p.m. to 10 p.m., is that correct? Those are my work hours. And you don't keep a record of the people who come into the rec center, do you? Uh, no, I don't. As a defense witness, you did not need to give the police statement, the police a statement ahead of time, is that correct? Uh, no. Therefore, your recollection of the date in question is solely based on your preparation for this trial, is that correct? Yes. The date in question, March 10th, 2010, that's, that's quite a while ago, isn't it? It's around two months, yeah. And since then, you've seen a lot of kids at the rec center, is that correct? On my job, that's right, yeah. So you can't be sure that you saw Mr. Tissy on March 10th, 2010, can you? Well, I can be sure because I remember getting that specific information uh, on March 10th, and I was very lucky to tell Donovan about it that afternoon. So that you remember the exact day you received that form, the exact day you gave Donovan that form? Yes, because it is, it is uh, scholarship and college information. It's not like I get it every single day. This was a so lucky break. you don't give other kids scholarship information? Oh, I do. I do try. But I remember that this, I usually have to give them at some other point. But I remember this day, is, it, was, it was very, it was, I remember it because I got it that day. And I remember telling him that afternoon. It's very fortunate. So can you please state the exact time you saw Mr. Sissy on that day? You know, like I said before, I cannot be 100% sure, but it had to be definitely before 8 o'clock. That's, that's when I eat. And you haven't recently seen Mr. Dirks, have you? Uh, no, I haven't seen Mr. Dirks around. Thank you, Mr. Wong. Thank you, Your Honor.